So I'm just processing some uh, merchant orders here, and um, this is pretty much our first real day processing orders. There's other things that we're changing, selling at a higher volume. Uh, conditions, we're going to be a lot more conservative. You can kind of get away with it, FBA, you know, listing a certain way. But when you really do high volume, you have to be real conservative because you're just going to get too many complaints and then you don't want, you don't want issues. So it's a couple changes we're making. Um, but yeah, and then this is, I think I've showed you guys most of the stuff is some of our Gaylords and this is like all this crap I showed you before. Um, we have to get rid of and this stuff definitely has to go these are the listing stations list stuff here and um we're packing the stuff in here right now it's it's like really really far from optimal uh for sure but it's our first day and i think we'll be able to pack about a hundred an hour so we should um I think we can maintain about, I think that if we list the way we're listing, we should be able to do about 150 a day for now. And uh, looking at bigger spaces, when we get into a bigger space, see, we're throttled by this space. If we had enough space, we'd be, we could probably be more at like 500 a day, maybe more. Um, but I'll, I mean, I'll keep you guys in the loop. I'll let you know how it goes. So it's Sunday. We came in yesterday and today to process a lot of these orders because frankly, I didn't want to come in Monday and it'd be a total shit show. So we got some orders on this cart and then we have a bunch on this cart. And this is all from probably like a day. This is all actually from like 24 hours. I think we picked about 244 books. Packing station. Of course, you've seen, you can now see those gaps in the shelving because we had to fulfill a lot of these orders. And we have trash cans that we sort. And this is what's going out. There's 384 books um, and the paperwork. And we had a courier that I hired that's gonna do the deliveries. And I got it at a pretty good rate. So we're pretty close to the post office. $75, I think, is what they're gonna charge me. Bring them from here to the post office. And the balance, that's from like three days or so of selling, but you have to subtract some shipping charges. But overall, Overall, it, it can go well. You just have to have the volume. I can tell you that these cheap books, you're not going to make a lot of money on. It's just, um, you know, there's other things involved where you make money on those cheaper books. But just giving an update. Um, if I didn't have so many books coming to me, I would be doing 100% FBA in a second because doing all this is a ridiculous amount of work. So if I didn't have so many books, it would be FBA all the way. Cause make no mistake, you definitely have the advantage um, being a prime seller. I can get a lot of sales doing this because competing on price, cause my shipping is rock bottom. Even the biggest mega sellers don't have better shipping rates than I've got. They have the same at best at best they have the same and that's just due to uh, federal law which is good for me and it's good for guys that don't have tons of money so that's about it guys you get shipped out it's that simple very humid in here this is not an ideal space and I wish I had picked up on that but to be honest, I didn't have a ton of money in the beginning. So I kind of took what I could get. This is doing actually wonders right now for this space. 
uh, to get sucking the humidity out. It almost feels like an air conditioner. That's how humid it gets. So, you know, looking for a place with uh, more more room. I need about three times the space I have right now. And I'm looking for higher ceilings.